Why do Catholics believe that Mary was sinless when the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? And why do we believe that Mary was assumed into heaven at the end of her life when the Bible never describes that actually happening? And last, why do Catholics, and this is the big one, why do we honor Mary? Why, why do we express our devotion to her? Why do we venerate her? Um, is she some kind of goddess? Is she more than human? What's, what are the biblical foundations for these Catholic practices and beliefs that many people have real objections to? I mean, what's the difference between the veneration of Mary and the worship of God? Isn't isn't uh, honoring Mary idolatry. Well, in this presentation on Jesus and the Jewish roots of Mary, what I try to show you is the key to understanding Catholic beliefs about Mary can be found not just by looking at the New Testament, by looking at what the New Testament says about her in light of the Old Testament, and in specifically uh, in light of three types or three prefigurations of Mary in the Old Testament. The New Eve, number one, the New Ark of the Covenant, number two, and then finally, the new queen mother, number three. And what I'll show you in this talk is that if you understand who Jesus is, you can understand what we believe about Mary. So if Jesus is the new Adam, then who is the new Eve? What does it mean for the Immaculate Conception? Uh, and if Jesus is the new manna from heaven, then where is the new ark? And what implications does that have for the assumption of Mary into heaven? And then finally, if Jesus is the king of Israel, then who is the queen? Because in the Old Testament, it wasn't the king's wife, it was his mother who was queen. What does Mary's identity as the true queen mother of the kingdom of God, uh, what implications does that have for the practices that, and devotions that Catholics have toward her? So if you've ever had any questions about uh, what the Bible actually teaches about Mary, or if you have a friend or a family member who has real objections to what Catholics believe and what we do with reference to Mary, then Jesus and the Jewish Roots of Mary is the perfect talk for you. It's the perfect talk uh, to be given as a gift to a friend or a family member, or even for yourself. And maybe you, you're Catholic and you, you've struggled with these beliefs and practices. Why do we do what we do? Why do we believe what we believe as Catholics? Then check out Jesus and the Jewish Roots of Mary. And what I hope you'll see is the more you understand who Jesus is in the Bible, the more you'll understand the biblical roots of what we believe about Mary.